when people don't have much education, it's hard for people to get a job. But if they know how to make things, then it, uh, it, it gives them a way of making an income. And uh, you know, Canada's well known for its art. So it's fun for people here to make art. Uh, it's meaningful for them to make it, and it's also fun for uh, visitors to come and see the art as well and how it's made. It's more interesting to see how it's made, and they love buying art if they know the artist. I mean, that's really significant for people. You know, some artists do do sort of traditional themes, but things are changing. Here in Pang, they've certainly prided themselves on keeping the tradition alive using traditional images. So traditional images, you know, of the hunt of um, animals. Um, and, and, you know, people like to buy images of, I mean, prints or tapestries of these images. But, I, but I'm an artist by profession, and I feel that um, at a certain point, um, you have to push the art, otherwise it becomes stereotypic. And I think that to be a valid artist, you have to grow artistically, and you have to push yourself. So I'm trying to push people here by br conducting workshops and also um, trying to encourage people to, to do things other than just, you know, things that they can, you know, do by rote. So it's, it's a tough struggle. And, and also, you know, the market is, is it, it's a much, um, people are more careful with their money. 